kinds and all forms. So Duncan it is first, then Eagle Creek Golf Club, then at 11.30 we have the Royal Crest Room, which I'm excited about. I've heard great things about it. And then, is that it? We just have two today, so nice and simple. Tomorrow we just have one last venue tour before the grand decision. What will it be? Where will she go? I'm all bridled out for ride, courtesy of my mother. And Got a new bridal bag. Yeah. And yeah, Alex can't be here today or this weekend at it's all. It's here in her heart. So stay tuned. Eagle Creek, here we go. for a golf courses club house. I don't know that you get the feeling of wedding. And their only real venue for the wedding is outside and there's not a single shade tree. I definitely like the pergola look. Mm -hmm. You could really outdo it with flowers and wrap and chiffon. ivy and chiffon. And I think it's a very grand altar look. Mm -hmm. And the view was really the pretty. The view is very pretty. I did like the reception area though, the floor to ceiling windows. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm just not going for the golf club feel either. Yeah. It's definitely golf. I don't think that's you. I'm trying to go for the garden look, the yeah. garden. Garden, garden, garden. Garden, not golf, wrong G. So it was nice, but we have some time to kill before our 11.30 appointment. So we're gonna go shopping. Do okay. you guys think she should take over the videos <laughs> or? No. Which one? Comment down below. I'm older and I'm wiser. So that is important. That is why <laughs> I need be, you here. <laughs> that might be the deciding factor. I thank God every day for Alex. More ways than one. Yes, I don't know what I would do. Anyway, how did you live in California for almost two years? So how, how did I ever do anything well, without you had roommates. Alex? But you had a job. How did you do that? And you had a car. Did I? You had bills. Is there proof? Who knows how I survived, but I made it. So get ready, Alex. This is what you get have to do. Get ready. To. Get ready. Your dad and I are already planning what are we going to do with your room? Sad. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Let's go.
when you walked in, it was beautiful. White, drapery, I could totally see that as a reception area. Loved where the venue is for the wedding ceremony itself. Very pretty. <laughs> very, very pretty. Cons. Certain things that we wanted, we can't have. Right. Other things that we want that you would think maybe they could provide, they need us to go out and get. And pretty much everything has a price tag on it. Plus they have a higher tax here. We're in Osceola County. People don't think about that. Like higher tax areas. Some, some places in Florida are 9% tax versus a 6%. That 3% on the total bill can be a lot. So Janae, now that you've seen this place, and I know you were excited to see this place, what are your overall thoughts? I mean, I loved the reception area because it kind of fits the vision of like the romantic side, the enchanted side of the theme I'm going for. Um, and then the ceremony space. I loved like the pergola, just how it was kind of like a secluded area just for the ceremonies that you really felt like you were kind of like entranced yeah. in the little garden definitely one of the favorites i've seen okay but we got one more tomorrow and, and then we hear that that might be the one to beat and then it will be decision time also we did like the bridal suite that was a bonus one of the more prettier bridal suites that we've seen in all of our tours so far so that's important because if that's where I'm going to be spending most of the time getting ready and my girls getting ready, preparing for the big day, I want it to be a space where we feel comfortable, there's enough room, and that it's a pretty space for pictures and relaxing and just feeling fancy getting all glamorized. So now we're going to go visit my sister-in-law since we're in the area. Yes. And then we're going to get some food because I'm starving. And me too. Thanks again for tagging along for the ride. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. So we're driving home. And I say, you know what's not too far from us is Crystal Ballroom Veranda. We've canceled them a couple of times. Let's just swing by. Yeah, so for those of you who watched my first video, I think it was, then you know that I really had my heart set on the Crystal Ballroom at Lake Mary. Hold on, mm -hmm. the sun is blinding. Mm -hmm. um, and I was really excited to see it. And they have several locations actually, and they're all a little bit different. So the first one that I originally thought I wanted to see was the Crystal Ballroom at Veranda. That we're headed to right now. But then I saw the Crystal Ballroom Lake Mary and thought that fit my theme more. So I canceled the Veranda appointment and we went to the Lake Mary one. But my mom wanted to just go stop by and just check it out and see if it's open. Why not? So that's where we're headed right now. So let's see if it's open. It was open! So 
we entered and showed ourselves around. And yeah, we got a little mini tour, I would say. Got some questions we answered. Gave up a mini tour. <laughs> there was a lady there that helped us out because she had some time, so it kind of worked out. First of all, I thought the location was beautiful. I like the fact I, I was pleasantly surprised. I, you walk in, the ballroom was set up to seat 130 which meant it had ample more space for another 10 or 20 people with yes, no problem. Yes, it's definitely more spacious than the Way other crystal ballroom. Way more spacious. Room, which, again, if you've seen my videos, you know what we're talking about. But the ballroom oh, yeah. was narrow, was set up for 100 people. Yeah. And I was already feeling a little claustrophobic. <laughs> really? It was definitely an interesting setup for the reception. I've never really seen a long, narrow. It was long. It was like a, it was like a rectangle, a long rectangle. Beautiful, yeah. but a yes. long rectangle. Yeah, interesting. However, those chandeliers and yeah. those drapes. There's just something about that. Something about vision mm -hmm. that I really want to capture in my wedding. So. A lot of the venues you guys have seen so far have that element somehow. The white, the chandelier, or some cool light fixture hanging from the ceiling type thing. Because um, I feel like it's very enchanting and romantic, which goes with my theme very nicely. We might go back to the other location tomorrow, but that's what I would recommend. If you walk in and you're like, I have fallen in love with this venue, it is the one. Before you make that decision, go out, take a look, come back, and look at it one more time before you make the decision. Yes, good advice. Tomorrow will be a new day with one more venue, and we might stop by one of my other favorites, and then it'll be decision time, so. Mm -hmm. I love decision time. Tomorrow is a big day. We're gonna make a whole video about what questions to ask when it goes yes. into venue touring, how to set things up, how to get that started, where to look, what websites to use, all those resources. I will be giving y'all all the tea. So we out for real this time. Peace and blessings. Let me know if you know what video that's from. Peace and blessings. Alex isn't here, but that's okay. Keep us updated every step of the way. That's what you get. Too early that you get when you go.